Hello friends, welcome to today's Aperture Spark session. In today's session, I will be discussing about data frame concept and programming. In my last session, I have discussed about RDD concept. So now let's discuss about what exactly data frame concept and what exactly it is. So basically what is data frame? It is distributed collection of data organized into named column. It is conceptually equivalent to a table in a relational database or a data frame in R or Python. It is a programming abstraction in Spark SQL module. We can build data frame from different data sources, for example, structured data file, tables in Hive, external database and existing RDDs. So why we have to think about data frame? Because we have some limitation in RDD. That's why uh, researchers have found out some new concept by which the data can feasibility or uh, data feasibility of processing can be much more easier and can be much more faster way. So data frame is concept is not too much complex, but the uses is very effective. That's why after RDD, this data frame came into existence for processing the data. So now we will be discussing why data frame. So when there is not much storage space in memory or disk, so RDD do not function properly as they get exhausted. So that is one of the limitation in RDD. That's why data frame make use of the input optimization engine. There are some optimization engines are there like catalyst optimizer to process the data efficiently. We can use the same engine for all Python, Java, Scala and R data frames APIs. <laughs> that is one of the first advantage in data frame uh, which removes all the limitation of RDD. Now Spark RDD do not have the concept of schema. It means the structure of database that defines this object. So that's why data frame provides a schematic view of the data and we can see the data in tabular format in data frame. That's why it is much more uh, feasible to visualize compared to RDD. So RDD is stored both structured and unstructured data together which is not very much efficient because we have to keep separately for structured and unstructured data. But in data frame, the data has some meaning to it and when it is stored. It means that before storing the data into data frame, it separates what is structured data and what is unstructured data so that the data efficiency becomes increased. Now in RDD, the data is stored into memory whereas data frame stored data off heap. It means outside the main Java heap space but still inside RAM. So, which in turn reduces the garbage collection overload. That's why data frame is faster. Because if you see in data frame, it reduces the garbage collection because it, it is still inside RAM, but it is outside the Java heap space. So, that's why uh, it uh, occupies less storage and the processing speed is much more higher. Now come to programming perspective on data frame, how we can write data frame. For that, let me tell you, uh, I have created one JSON file. If you see here, employee.json file is there. So let me see what exactly this JSON file consists. This is one of the file where uh, different uh, data are there like uh, different people's names are there with each and id so this is the uh, easiest and simple uh, employee.json file where i have uh, given some data so i'll be uh, 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 working on some of the operation on that employee.json file you can uh, just check it out how data frame works and how I'll be using coding in data frame. So let's get started. So I have opened already Scala. So in Scala, what I will do first, I'll be creating one uh, SQL context. How I can define it like Spark SQL context equal to new. 
org dot apache dot spark dot sql dot sql this is one of the syntax context then that sc if you see here the spark context is available as a sc so this is one of the um, command by which we can define one of the rdd sql context so the sql context will be defined as a spark dot sql spark dot sql and then i'll be working with sql context in Pata. okay so now sql context it created now i will be reading that employee.json file so how i'll be reading that that one you need to uh, check very carefully dfs equal to sql context dot read dot json as the file is json file so i have to mention dot this json employee dot json okay so if you see here one dfs uh, rdd is created uh, where i'll be uh, reading that json file so now what i will be doing it uh, i have already mentioned you that data frame works as a spark sql so whatever sql operation can be performed i can do all operation in data frame so what and how i'll be doing it let me show you so first i will be uh, checking what exactly it consists it means if i don't know the content i'm showing you this content by uh, showing this cat command but if i don't know what exactly this json file content so first i have to read that json file and then i have to check by this way dfs dot show so if you see here i am able to see uh, the data in output as a tabular format it means uh, if you see in sql format select star from uh, the table name uh, the format or the way you uh, see the data in same way we can able to see the data in data frame also similar way uh, another some examples i am showing you uh, if you would like to see the schema of this employee.json file so what you have to do dfs dot print schema so there are three uh, columns are there each the string id string and name strings so by using this dot print schema we can able to see uh, the schema definition of that data frame now uh, whatever operation we can perform in sql we can perform all the operation in S here also for example uh, if you see this data frame if i would like to see uh, those people's name which are having age greater than 23 so how i can write it down here dfs dot filter then again dfs age age is one of the column age greater than 23 dot show so by using this command i'll be able to see the list of peoples which are having age greater than 23 so there are so many commands and uh, whatever the requirements of you have you can uh, get all the values and all the output as per your requirement by using different commands uh, for example if you'd like to see uh, the 
age group count if you see here how many uh, ages people are there like 23 ages people are uh, there two times and rest of the um, ages group are one time so here i will be doing like this dfs dot group by age age dot count dot show okay so see uh, the ages group uh, 23 appears two time and rest of the ages group appears one times so like this way we can uh, use different commands and we can get the output as per our requirement so this is much more easier way much more feasible way compared to rdd and we can cover up uh, different limitations and in data frame so that by using in simple way we can do multiple complex operation here uh, to get the output as per our requirement so that's all from this data frame perspective uh, because I, I wanted to show you only the concept perspective and programming knowledge logic if you would like to do much more practice in data frame you can go through different coding and check how it works it will be definitely helpful for you and you can use similar spark sql type format here it will be much more easier way as a developer perspective so thank you so much guys now uh, if you have any questions please ask me in comment box i'll definitely answer and if you like this video please do subscribe it uh, so that it will be much more easier and i will be using different equipments on big data and i'll be creating on different uh, videos on that so thank you so much have a great day bye